Hello everyone, today we will be discussing on the topic that whether edtech companies would be liable if we are facing any deficiency in those in their services or most aptly we can say online courses. So for that, we all are aware that in this pandemic times when schools and colleges have gone shut down, these edtech companies were a boon for each and every student. We have all, we all must have availed those online courses or we can say the services. So what if we face any deficiency in those services? What we can do? For that, we have to look into the Consumer Protection Act 2019. And to deal with this prominent question, we have to look into the definition of three important definitions that has been given under the Consumer Protection Act 2019. Firstly, the definition of service. Secondly, the definition of consumer and thirdly, the de definition of consumer rights that has been given under the act itself. Now, uh, the definition of consumer is defined under section 7 of the Consumer Protection Act 2019, where it says that consumer is any person that hires or avails of any service for a consideration that has been paid or partly paid. Now, in order to deal with the question that we are dealing in this video, that what if we face any deficiency in the online courses, then what we have to do? Now, if we look into the question, we can see that the online courses somehow are the education itself. Now, the most important question in dealing with this question would be whether education is a service or not. For that, we have to look into the judgments that has been given by the Supreme Court of India. Now the landmark judgment is the judgment of Maharshi Dayanand University that was given by the Supreme Court in 2010 where Supreme Court held that examination, conduction of examination is a statutory function and not a service. Now taking precedent of Maharshi Dayanand University case, the Supreme Court in 2012 held that held in P.T. Koshi case that education is not a service. So now here the major question arises is that if online courses or most importantly we can say the education itself, if they are not service then how the consumer, how we the common people who are availing those services, can we expect any remuneration for the same? Because if we can see the Supreme Court in the latest judgments has clearly held that education is not a service. So here we can clearly get an idea that these judgments have not been in favor of the common people or we can say uh, for the consumer itself. Now one of the most important judgment by dealing with this important question would be of the case of FITG uh, which was given by the commission itself in 2015 where the commission held that FITG cannot be equated with an educational institution. Why? Because it is just assisting the students in completion of the course. And therefore, why I am talking about this case, the Fiji case, because if we see the edtech companies like Baijus, UN Academy, these are somewhat like the Fiji itself. They are assisting the students in completion of the course. And therefore, they cannot be substituted with an institution. So simply we can conclude that from the precedent that has been established by the Supreme Court, Court of India and the Commission itself, it clearly shows that the, that, the, that the precedent has not been in favor of the common people or the consumer itself. So here, the, so here with the changing time when the online courses are becoming more prominent, more common these days, a step needs to be required, a change needs to be made in this very issue. So this is what I wanted to convey to the viewers